Today at ShopDap.com, we're gonna take apart this blown up Mark 7 Golf R transmission. This six speed manual transmission came out of a 2016 Golf R that belongs to this guy. Bryce is a longtime customer of ours and also has a YouTube channel around modding his car. His Golf R has a bigger turbo, coilovers, intake, exhaust, clutch, fuel upgrades, and so much more. This car is not a garage queen. It's gone to the drag strip, to track days, to autocross, then to autocross, then to autocross, then to autocross, autocross. Well, you get the idea. Bryce was just minding his business driving down the highway when his transmission locked up. This caused the wheels to lock up and the engine to die. Fortunately, he was able to get off the highway and get to the side of the road safely and get towed back to his house. When I saw Bryce made a video on draining this transmission, it caught my attention. When he drained the transmission, the gear oil was silver. And we're not talking about a few silver flakes in the gear oil silver that you might pick up with a magnet to be able to find it. We're talking about silver, silver. This prompted Bryce to want to go full race car, so he pulled the engine and transmission. He will be putting Lexan windows and a bunch of other stuff on his car. If you want to check out his channel, we will link to it in the description below. Here we have our Mark 7R trans that we're about to disassemble. Let's look around it to give you an idea of what I can see visibly from the outside that's wrong with it. Most notably, this hole right here. This is not supposed to be a hole. This is supposed to be a piece of aluminum that covers that. And instead, it's a hole. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna find in there. But I know we're about to make a mess. Even though he drained this trans, we're probably gonna make a f mess here. <laughs> I'm gonna be covered in gear oil by the end of this. What we can see here is this is the part we can see that's locked up. This is the input shaft. And you can see right here, just based on the movement of, oh, there we go. This is out of gear, but this, no turn. Let's see what we're gonna find inside. I'm gonna start by taking off the uh, bevel box here. This is what makes all wheel drive possible for Haldex cars. If you're not familiar, Haldex cars, uh, are a little bit different and we have videos showing all that information which we will link to in the description because we got I got the power I got no power <laughs> the battery's dead it takes a little walking and I don't really have a lot of to walk against here because I have a transmission on a table David's here to save the day. I think the reason why this is still on there is because he tried to remove it and it didn't work. Yo dog, what's going on here? I, I told you, I've been trying. You think Bryce pulled a prank on us and locked out all this? Are you pranking us, bro? <laughs> his, his trans oh, was- Oh, hey, look, there's a hole. Yes. It's a holy, <laughs> it's a holy trans. <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> oh my god. What? This is what we're prying on right here. We're trying to get this guy right here out of the transmission. There's nothing holding it in except for these splines. We've unsuccessfully done that so far. That's not normally hard to take out either. I mean, he's tracked this car a lot and the transmission locked up on him. So the amount of heat that was applied to make this trans do this was clearly a bunch. So we've so far been working on this for a little while now and been unsuccessful at taking just about anything apart. We've gotten stuff loose, that's about it. And most likely it's because uh, what, the high heat that probably created the lockup on this thing is also what's got all this shit fused together. So field trip. At the shop, we have things like power tools and air, compressed air, um, and if we need to, uh, a torch, and also, well, we have the cutoff wheel here, so if I need to really start doing some I'll do that. Stay tuned. Rolling this is pretty loud. If you didn't hear, if you didn't hear that, if you can hear me over that. Nothing. Man. 
Just so you know, all this shit we're doing that's destroying this transmission, this, the only thing that's potentially good in this entire thing is the bevel box. Um, the rest of this thing is completely destroyed, 100%, not salvageable, not worth rebuilding, uh, which is what I told Bryce, uh, which is why I asked him to send it to us, is uh, because you can't, you can't do anything with this thing. It's, it's like uh, Akon, it's locked up. So Dave, we've, we've attached a slide hammer and a makeshift uh, uh, attachment. You see why the washers were important. And so we're gonna to give this a couple swings to see if we can get this flange out. Go ahead, right. yep. Anything happen? That is a no-go, sir. Holy sh I mean, dude, wait, you don't, wait, wait. normally you just take a pry bar and you pop it. This yeah. you don't have to. As, as long as you, once you undo that bolt, it kind of springs out. So it literally falls out. Because it actually has a spring on the back side of it. Yeah. Yeah, take a look. Take a look here. This is a steel bar. <laughs> this is a steel bar that even has an angle up to it. And we've bent that. As you can imagine, this is not normal. And David's a real technician instead of a pretend technician like me. Uh, and this is not a normal experience that you should have when you're taking apart a trans, but because he overheated it and it locked up. If there was a problem, yo, I'm trying to solve it. I would currently rank this as going poor to very poor. I, I'm not gonna say it's Bryce's fault, but it's not not Bryce's fault. Oh, look at that. The Tin Man's been here. Wow. Yeah, he's been. That's not transmission fluid. That is, that, that is transmission fluid. That's Bryce's version of transmission fluid. <laughs> That's what that is. Yeah, so you can see with this situation right here. Oh my gosh, this it is, really is silver. I told you it was silver. <laughs> I was not kidding when I said it was silver. I have no idea what we're gonna accomplish with this, but other than a big fucking mess. So the plan was for us to disassemble this trans, make an easy video showing some cool stuff broken apart, but instead you get to watch me struggle and then I am going to take a cutoff wheel and attempt to cut off a piece of this transmission to will, which will allow us to expose the damage. Uh, again, all this stuff's already destroyed, so it's useless anyway. Before we start cutting things, the plan is to try to run these bolts down and have them push against the case to push this flange out. Now, it might destroy this case, but we're about to do it anyway. So, here we go. Pieces of <laughs> case. How? <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Woo! So now what? <laughs> I don't know what's next. <laughs> what is next? What's next is we take the case off. I'm ready. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Whoa. See how easy that was? <laughs> okay. It's like actually like that, cake, that, this is metal. Is that from us? No. That's from Bryce? Yes, this is what Bryce did. So there are some very hard chunks of metal here, so I suspect something is, you see all these pieces? Ooh. These used to be on gears. Right here, I would say this is why, right there. See, so if you take a look, Ooh. <laughs> this is like scorched, like scorched metal that, probably kind of solidified in there. So it probably got so hot that some of these metal shavings kind of settled around that diff area. And then, um, and then when they cooled down, 
they formed into this thing <laughs> that ruined my fucking day. This right here is the input shaft. So now, oh, it actually turns now. That's really interesting. I did not expect that. Part of our problem now is we we're, we're can't really get the other side of this diff out. So we can see here is some metal pieces. So you can see that's quite a lot of metal right there. It's a large hunk of metal. <laughs> You're not supposed to find things like this inside of your transmission. <laughs> okay, so this right here, if you can look inside the hole, this guy isn't supposed to do that. <laughs> that's a gear. That's a gear of your, this is one of the spider gears inside your differential. And right now, it's more like a regular spider that can just walk around. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of silver. Almost lost a toe there. That was totally a problem. Okay, this one, I know what's gonna happen here. What's gonna happen here is I'm trying to pull this bottom one out now because this one's stuck and I'm hoping it'll help me. And I'm probably gonna end up having this one fall out on me while I'm trying to get the other one out. That's what I'm betting is gonna happen because that's the way this stuff, oh yeah, yep, that's exactly what happened. Ah! Okay. <laughs> also, that one actually did hit my foot. Luckily, not very square. <laughs> yes, I'm good. It hit the side of my foot. There is some metal right there that you can see. Uh, that probably came from the differential when it exploded. I don't really see a lot of other damage on this stuff. Shine a light on it. I'm like. Right here, you can oh see there's a, there's a, this really is a lot of damage. <laughs> there's a, that's because one of the spider gears is, is up inside there. Ouch. I am gonna go with the air hammer option pretty soon here. What are you doing with that? The goal at this point is to just see the damage clearly that we were dealing with and maybe hold some pieces in my hands. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna attempt to cut this portion a hole so I can stick my hand in there and retrieve said pieces. Well, there, is, there are the pieces of uh, formerly known as diff. <laughs> the diff is hollow. So, oh, that's a piece of the diff. There you go. Yeah, Whoa. so this is actually where all the grinding came from. See that? All of this, that other part looked like this at one point. <laughs> <laughs> this part looked like this part. Now it looks like this part. Come on. There we go. Look in the hole. There's still a lot of pieces oh left. Oh my God. <laughs> As you can see. Oh no, that's the other one? Yeah, that's the other pin. And here's a piece of another one. Here's a piece of a pin. This is actually looks like it may have broken off that, but you can imagine, I mean, you can see the ends of those are all like twisted up. Oh yeah, that guy's in there. I mean, look at, so it's funny, look at this. So here's the differential housing. That thing wedged in there and cracked. You can see it fractured the, this piece of the differential housing right there. Oh. And that's when this thing locked up. So this is actually what locked up the whole car. Oh. This piece lodged in there and now this differential couldn't turn anymore. So that's actually- And then it exploded the rest of the- Well, dip? yeah, then, well, no, it already, the rest of it already exploded before this. This oh. piece came out. I mean, this is a car going 70. Just think about how strong this is. This is a car going 70 miles an hour and that's all it, all it did to the differential. Well, you can, see, you can see it has, look at the happy trail that it left. Whoa. Skrrr. Your hand, there we go. The old happy trail. 
Oh my gosh. So as this thing lodged in there, it got stuck between here, this, this nub logged it, lodged in, the, the tooth lodged into this, this groove right here, and then it just jammed between the housing and exploded the front of the housing through here. Let's see if we can remove this. Oh, this is like welded. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, there we go. Pop goes the weasel. What's on that thing? Um, mostly some metal pieces and some more metal pieces and some more metal pieces. Uh, let's look at the diff. You got to see like where it actually caught in. Caught in yeah, right yeah. There it is. Good job, Bryce. Great work. I, I mean, and I don't think he's not upset about it based on my read. He was like, hey, this is, this is part of the deal. So, uh, which if you treat your car like that, you, you, you know, if you track your car and you run it hard, you should be prepared for that. Uh, race cars break all the time. That's why they bring spare parts to the racetrack. When I reached out to Bryce about this, inquiring what he was doing with this, he was planning on rebuilding it. So I told him he should reach out to the people who are going to be rebuilding it for him and show them the video of it draining with all that uh, silver stuff. And I suspect they're probably not gonna be willing to, which I was correct, which is why he sent us this trans. Um, and obviously we paid to ship it, but uh, he was kind enough to put it together and get it shipped out to us for us to do this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. Also go over, check out Bryce's YouTube channel.